Hello, and welcome to the Haas Tip of the Day, where we cover the topics that every Haas machinist needs to know. My name is Mark Terryberry, and today we're going to look at our G47 sequential serial number engraving. We've already machined out a part here. It's a motorcycle chain guard, and we've engraved a part number onto it. Now, Haas has made engraving serial numbers very easy. Let's go take a look at the control and see how it works. Whenever we use a G47P1 command, it will engrave the value that is in macro variable 599 onto your part. Each time that's run, it adds one to macro variable 599. It's just that easy. Now, you can use macro variable 599 even if you don't have the macro option enabled on your machine. Now we've already engraved a serial number on this part. It's serial number 0001. Let's say we wanted our numbers to start at 1000 instead. All we have to do is change the value of macro variable 599. Let's do that now. I'm gonna press current commands. I'm gonna page down until I can see the macro variables page. Once there, from the keypad I'll enter 599 and press down arrow. Macro variable 599 shows up on my page set to a 1, but I want to start out at number 1000. So I'll enter 1000, enter. The next part that we run is going to have a serial number of 1000. If we run a second part, it's going to go to serial number 1001. Even running the part in graphics will increment macro variable 599, so watch out. We've engraved serial number 1000, but I want to engrave serial number 1000 again not 1001. I can go to current commands, change my 599 from 1001 back to 1000. Then when I engrave it, back to SN1000. Another tip with serial number engraving is that you are able to engrave text and a serial number using a single G47 statement. We have a G47P1 followed by a parenthesis SN pound 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 pound. That's going to engrave the letters SN for serial number, followed by a sequential serial number produced by macro variable 599, all with one line of code. Because our G47P1 engraving is linked to macro variable 599, you can engrave all kinds of neat information from your control, like the current cycle time, hours run. You can even engrave the current date and time. In fact, as a bonus, you can click on the link below to find a macro program that engraves a current date and time onto your part. That's it. Thanks for watching today's tip of the day.